Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and fellow YouTubers, thank you for clicking on the Starship review and in this video we are going to showcase the new Riser reward, the Ferengi Nandai or Nandi warship, so here we go. I'm mean, right here at Earth Space Dock and look at this. Everybody is doing their own thing. So I'm really, really on my own in this big ass uh, space station that is called Earth Space Dock. And we're just going to go to the Starship Selector because we finally got it. I had to spend a couple of lobby just to get it. And here we go. This is it. The claiming the Ferengi Nandai Warship Tier 6. This is the Ryzen reward of 2015. So here we're going to get it. Here we go. You acquired the Ferengi Rewards. If you visit whoa whoa whoa, that was going too fast. I think I needed to go over here somewhere. Uh let's see, let's see. Do we have something that is new? Um Nope, they're all the same. I think we needed to get this ship from the reputation. There was something getting it from the store, something like that. Uh, where is it? Oh, right here. No, that's the old warship. Uh, where is it then? Summer reward then? Uh, come on, where? Come on, Cryptic. Why are you doing this to me? Just give it to me. Maybe it's in my inventory already. Yeah, it is. What a bot. What? What? I'm being stupid right now. Anyway, so let's open that up. Double clicking it. And it's going to be the Lydia. And I'm going to rename that because I really don't like that name. Uh, the USS Lydia. Lydia. Ready Starship. And let me just press this button to randomize it. Uh, the USS Con, really, really nice. So, uh, some basic statistics about this ship. Here we go. Um, that is it right here. The Ferengi Nandi warship statistics. And I'm just going to um, uh, read uh, these statistics from the uh, Star Trek Online uh, uh, webpage. So, here they're going to come. Uh, tier 6, uh, it's going to be available to all factions. It requires level, uh, requires rank, rear admiral. Uh, Brigadier General or Sub Admiral uh, available through the event reputation of 2015 summer event and has a whole strength of 36,600 at level 40, 42,090 at level 50, and 48,800 at level 60. And that is what it's going to be for me because I am a level 60 character. Uh, it has a shield modifier of zero of 1.05 and has a crew complement of 300, four weapons on the front, four weapons on the aft, three device slots, uh, bridge officer stations. We're going to talk to you about this thing in the game and I'm going to showcase it because I can name up ensign, commander, lieutenant, engineering and stuff like that, but it's not going to give you any visual representation of it. So it's going to be better if I showcase this in the game. Um, console modification 5, tactical, 2 engineering and 4 science. So really a tactical heavy ship. And it also is heavy on science abilities as well. Um, base turn rate of 12 degrees per second. So it's... <coughs> Sorry about that. So it has a really, really nice turn rate, an impulse modifier of 0 0.18, an inertia of 45, and it has plus 10 weapon, uh, plus 10 weapon power and plus 10 engine power. Really, really nice. It has a console universal uh, metaphasic solar capacitor. Wow. No idea what that's going to do, but we're going to show you that in the game. Hopefully, it's an activatable buff or something like that. Um, Starship Ability Package, a destroyer within brackets, don't know what that is. All right, so we're going to show you that into the game. So reading a little bit about the console universal, that metaphasic solar capacitor. 
The Ferengi metaphasic solar capacitor collects background solar radiation and stores it in a meta, uh, uh, metaphasic matrix. This provides a small passive bonus to shield healing, shield hardness, and exotic damage. Hmm. However, when activated, the capacitor generates a powerful but temporal, but temporal uh, metaphasic field. As long as the field is active, it improves shield hardness and all shield hardening abilities and exotic damage uh, significance. Okay. Once this effect expires, the, uh, it disables the passive benefits from this console for two minutes. Hmm. All right. This console mod can be equipped to any uh, console slot in either the Ferengi Decora Marauder or the Ferengi uh, Nandi or Nandai. I don't know how to pronounce that. Let me just see how this thing is going to pronounce it. Nandi. Nandi. All right. Uh, you may equip one of these mods to a single ship. All right. So, um, and this is that console that they're talking about, the uh, metaphasic solar capacitor. And uh, let's see, it, it's going to give us plus 13.3% exotic damage, uh, plus 14.98% to shield heals. Hmm. Okay. So let's see, Starship Mastery, up lock unlocks uh, level one is going to give you an increased accuracy by five percent level two is going to increase critical severity by 15 percent wow really nice so a lot of critical uh really a lot of critical it's going to do a lot of damage with this ship uh, an increased critical chance wow plus 2.5 percent chance mm-hmm mm -hmm. Uh, an increased energy and kinetic damage, plus 10% to kinetic and plus 10% to all energy damage. Really, really nice. And level 5 is going to give us a greedy emitter. Hmm, what does that mean? Uh, power bonus, drain immunity, minus weapon cost after using energy siphon and tachyon beam or tycoon's rift. Okay, this is something really nice. This is something you guys want. And I want it. I want it as well. Hmm. Okay. And uh, the basic uh, mark ten weapons on the front, weapons on the aft. We have a deflector, impulse, warp, and a shield. That's just the basic stuff. Three device slots, two engineering, four science, five tactical. Hmm. -hmm. Really, really nice. And I'm just gonna go right here to customization of my ship because hopefully we are going to have some a little bit customization to this ship. Uh, none or type one so basically we can see over here it has a little bit of a window layout and I think on the front as well right wrong so you can have none and it's not gonna give you any windows and now it's gone now it's gone <laughs> what what happened to my options over here damn it cryptic oh maybe I can undo it and then <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> I think this is like a small bug or something. Cryptic, you need to fix this. Uh, so if you want Windows, <laughs> leave it alone. And if you don't want Windows, select none and it's going to remove that option <laughs> totally. Okay, that's weird. Um, okay, so uh, Windows, we have four type of materials. Material 1, Material 2, 3, and 4. Really nice. I'm liking type 2 because it changes the, the, the windows. Come on, move. Um, reset. Type 2. Yeah, I'm liking this version of this ship much, much better than type 4. Type 1. Just... Oh, okay. Underneath of the ship looks kind of interesting. And let's see, type 3. Hmm, type 3 is a little bit too dark for me, for my taste. Maybe I'll just leave it at type 4. With that golden color over here. Yeah, let's leave it at type 4. Uh, we can also change the uh, colors of the windows and all that. Mm-hmm. Really, really nice. So, we have any advanced? Yeah, we have like pattern overlays that you can equip the whole 
yeah i'm not going to change that uh so basically purchase yes well that's the customization of this ship um i'm gonna go right now into space and why am i gonna do that because i want to show you the different visualization changes that this ship comes with when you equip the, the different space sets on this ship really really nice I'm just going to remove all of this. Because uh, it bothers me sometimes. Hey! Didn't I just remove you? There we go. Full impulse. Now, a lot of you guys have been talking to about in... in previous videos about this part right here this um, um, this spark thing that comes uh, now and then from the uh, ev uh, from the event from the uh, from the engines that is just an activatable buff you guys can have or you know that I'm using right now and I thought I was something about that right here in my traits mm, think it was uh, which one was it let me just read was it momentum? Mm, no, it was. Uh, I forgot what it was. Uh, uh, this one, pedal to the metal. Okay, so each uh, each second that I am in full impulse or like you know, uh, uh, yeah, full impulse, it's gonna give me like a boost in weapon damage and all that. So, anyway, that's just a detour. You guys are not here about this. Um, this is how it looks like when it's flying through space. Uh, this is just the normal version of this ship without any other shield, just a Mark 10 that it comes equipped with the standard Mark 10. Right off the box, this is how it looks like. And I think this is going to be really, really nice. At least I hope it's going to be really, really nice when we are going to take it in combat, because we're going to do that. Um... Let's see. Let's start equipping a couple of uh, different type shield types now. And you guys probably saw this one. This is really, really nice. This is the the latest um, Iconian reputation. I already uh, reached level five with this, and I have a couple of Iconian marks left over. But I already got like the entire space set, so that is really nice. Uh, yay for me! <laughs> And that's going to be the first space set that we're going to do. We are going to do the first one. The first one being the Iconian space set the, in its entirety. Level, all four. Oh, no, all three pieces. Because I don't have the warp. Wait a minute. I don't have the warp. How does that work? Let me just get that one really, really fast. Um, Cannons, deflectors, singularity, and eh, singularities for the Romulans. And we're gonna get this one right here. Oh, we can get it. Ah, crap. Anyway, just three pieces of it. I didn't do the my homework before getting this ship. I'm sorry about that. Just the three pieces: the engines, deflector, and the shield is going to turn this ship looking like this. Re oh my God! The underneath, so awesome. Oh man, this ship is really, really nice. And it changes when it's like uh, on the darker side, when it's like uh, hitting the, the... Yeah, it changes like that. Because that's the sun and it when it hit, when like it's on the shadow side of the ship, it transforms this ship looking like this. It is really, really awesome. And this is at full impulse, and this ship turns really mm, not that bad, I should say. Not that bad. It has five tactical consoles. It has four weapons on the front, four weapons on the aft. This could be a beast. You know, this, this could be like a really, really heavy tactical ship. Something like an escort or something like that. Could be fun, you know, could be fun. It all depends on what kind of equipment you're going to use. Um, the adaptive Mako is going to be the next one. Here we go. The adaptive Mako. Three sets. It's going to make this ship look like that. 
Wow, really nice. Really nice looking. Did not expect it to be that good looking. Underneath this, oh, really, really nice. This looks like it's crazy. It's a warship after all, guys. It is a warship. Really, really nice. I'm liking this ship. Just from a visual standpoint, this is really, really nice. Let's see, what else do we got? Um, no, not the fleet one. The Aegis Space Set. Here we go. Three sets from the Aegis. And the Aegis Set, um, it's better for me to zoom out. You have these like, lines going all the way from uh, like the front to your back of the ship. Lots of finer details here and there. Really, really nice. And as you guys can see, that engine wake from the ages makes this ship look like crazy. It's really, really nice. Really good looking ship. Oh, this is, this is really, really nice. I bet some of you guys are like, well, I can't wait to to uh, to get it on my own. <laughs> and to be honest, I was one of you guys because it's like halfway through the event right now. And I was like, I can't wait anymore. I'm just going to spend a couple of low buy just to get this ship because it's something that I really want to do a video about a starship review video and you know i was like well let's use the low buy why not <laughs> and here it is with the bork set <laughs> hmm okay i don't think the bork set uh fits this vessel to its full potential but like this piece right here. Maybe it should be like on this nacelle here or or I think it's a nacelle. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't fit this ship really, really nice. I mean underneath it's really like Borg looking, but on top it should be some more Borg junk. Uh, displayed over there like underneath underneath it's perfect you know it doesn't need a lot more but on top I should say it's Borg lacking <laughs> underneath it's really good but on top didn't change that much hmm okay well that's the Borg set let's see the next one the next one is going to be the counter command space set. Counter command space set engines and the shields. There we go. Really nice looking ship with that pattern. Oh, I'm sorry. I was like zooming in and out. <laughs> You were like, what? Why did that ship go like that? So big, all of a sudden. But that's just to to display this fine ship with this counter command. And we have a couple of pattern issues. I just saw some textures that weren't overlapping really nice. Like here, you don't have the lines that are going Stop it. Stop moving. Just for a second. And stop right there. As you guys can see, those lines don't, like, match on this ship right here, on this part right there. Somebody did a rush job on this ship. Or this pattern. Hmm. 
and over here as well hmm anyway if you zoom out you don't even notice that so but it's really really nice to see you know really nice texturing the texture is really really nice with that like you know that brownish color or orange color overall it's it's really nice it kind of merges in like you know the, this blackish grayish color overlay with that with the Ferengi color <laughs> I'm liking it just from a visual standpoint we need to see this ship in combat as well later on and then we can have like a a deciding vote if it's really really nice or if it's really really bad we have the Delta Alliance space center right here and this is how it looks with the Delta space set what do you guys think about the Delta space set please let me tell let me tell you guys my viewpoint from a visualization standpoint it's really really bad i mean look at this ship it's like totally grayed out and that's it what you guys think about this this is like the worst like space set of them all like you know from visualization sp standpoint from all of your ships it's like grayed out there is no finer details no textures just like one epic gray color that's it you have some like you know some like whatever color that is like you know it's it's not even yellow it's like i don't know what kind of color is it turquoise yellow or something like that some some weird mix that cryptic has made and it's like slapped on this on the side of this shit ah <sighs> but but the stats the stats of the um, of the um of the delta space set is really good i mean i would really 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 recommend if you guys are not like if you guys are like new to the game or like haven't decided on what kind of space set you guys are still using or you guys want to use in the in the future go with the, with the delta space set is really nice and then go with the iconian space set because that's kind of really good these days the Dyson is going to be next. Here we go. Dyson 1, 2, 3 space set. Look at that. This. Oh, man. Really? Oh, my God. Okay, this. Never mind. This is going to be one of my favorite ships from now on. Look at that. The Dyson space set kind of changes um, when it's like not facing the sun. We're going to see the transition right here. And you can see it all the way here again, like underneath. Look at that, how it's going to transform to that darker color. And it's going to transform again to the white when it's going to hit the sun right there. Wow really really nice really really nice i'm liking this space set a lot with this ship and that's the dyson space set um next up it's going to be one of my favorite the gem hadar space set that i currently use in my gem hadar dreadnought carrier and i should say it is really really awesome Look at how it changes the ship totally in its entirety. Making it look like a little bit a crossover between like a uh, Romulan and a Riemann space set where you have like that greenish, that purplish, you know, like, you know, mixed up together. Really, really nice. I'm liking that a lot. And this is how it looks when it's facing the sun when it's like a full um, illumination from the sun I also want to show you guys the interior but let me just go through all of the space set first 
and hopefully we're gonna show you guys hopefully this is gonna open up or something like that that was that was going to be awesome if this part here rises up and you know here is your your bridge like you know like a shuttlecraft type deal but who knows you right who knows wow this looks really really good this space set um let's see the kobali space set kobali uh which one is the kobali is it this one no because it's, it's kind of weird. I have two uh, Gem Hadar space set, and it's really, really weird. Because uh, you kind of need to upgrade them with low buy, and I really don't know why I have two space set. But anyway, um, the Kobali, one, two, three space set. Now, the Kobali, I should say, um, it's kind of weird. It's a space set. Um, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of out there. There are like two, three space sets uh, in the game that um that cryptic has made uh and they don't change the visualization of this ship at all it's kind of weird but i'm just you know i'm just showing you guys this just to be thorough because all of the space sets are going to be are going to be like showcased in this video so <coughs> and i really i really do apologize for me coughing throughout this video i mean it, you know it's like it's not nice but it's like I got a, I got, I'm sick somehow, and this cough, it's been like, I don't know, like, I got this cough like three weeks, and it's still not going away. So, I really do apologize, but that's just a little bit of a uh, side tour, something that's going on with my life right now, and you guys are like, cut the crap, I want to see the video about the space stuff, and not about your life. But anyway, uh, the Mako space set, and this is the normal Mako, not the advanced version. Uh, kind of the same difference in visualization, no changes, uh, no differences between the normal and the adaptive one. Uh, they are different in stats, so be careful when you're choosing your stats and your ships. So this is how it looks like with the normal one. And it is like when it's like not facing the sun, and this is when it is facing the sun. Really awesome. Anyway, that's enough. We already saw this version on the adaptive version. So, uh, new Kara space set, new Kara, and is it this one? No, that's, that's the Nukara space set. Three space sets from the Nukara. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is a really nice looking ship. Kind of blends in really, really nice with the shape of this ship. Kind of, they're kind of like made for each other right now. <laughs> a bluish color with a yellow engine wake. From the Nukara space set. And here you go. The deflector. Really, really nice looking deflector right there. Awesome. The Nukara space set. Um, which one is going to be the next? Uh, here we have the Omega Force. And the Omega Force. So we got the deflector, impulse, and the shield. All of three pieces. And this is how it looks like. With the Omega Force shields. And here we go with the engine wake. Really, really nice. Like it has like a jet engine kind of type of deal going on at the back. Really nice. And unfortunately, no animation on the deflector. Hmm, sad face. <laughs> Does look good, and here we have when it's in the shadow of the sun. Really nice, finer details on the hull. It's being like you know, come to life. And here we go again underneath. 
and on top really good looking ship man I should say good looking ship um, this one is the fleet version so we're going to go with the Riemann space set and this is how it looks like with the Riemann space set oh my god awesome awesome look looking ship with all of the space sets that have been displayed right now all of them are like really really nice looking with this ship tell me which one of you are going to use this ship like you know from you doing your missions on STFs and stuff like that post them on the post them on the comments below guys i want to i want to see you, how many of you guys are using like what kind of space sets are you guys using with this ship cuz we can all learn from each other and and it's really really nice ship after all man nice uh let's see this one is going to be the uh, Romulan. So we had a Riemann. Now we have the Romulan. One, two, three pieces. And here is the. <laughs> oh, this is like. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is like some. Like. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going <laughs> to. Okay. This looks. This bottom part of the ship looks like some kid. Like some two or four or five years old kid made a drawing and this is how it turned out to be <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh this is so bad i'm sorry i'm sorry this is the worst <laughs> this oh man this this oh this doesn't this doesn't look like a spaceship at all this looks like some kid drew this and he's like hmm let me color up this ship <laughs> with as much colors that I can have <laughs> oh, man. oh man this is so bad I'm sorry I'm sorry maybe I'm like dissing your favorite um, type of like space set that you guys are using but it's just my opinion don't be like hey hater are going to hate you know it's just the opinion of one guy so um this is not for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> real fast. <laughs> um, Solani space set. Oh, did I choose the red one? Uh, Solani one, two, and Solani shielding three sets. Now the Solani space set, just like the Kobali, no differences in visualization, changes just to be thorough so you guys are not gonna be like hating this video because i didn't put them on so here it is i'm beating you guys to it no differences at all just the basic mark 10 version of the ship uh and here we go the last one is going to be the Breen. The green space set, all three pieces, it's going to make this ship look like that. Now, because I am recording in Europe, in Amsterdam to be exact, there are not a lot of people on right now. So instead of doing like Borg infected space elite or something like that or advanced or normal, I'm not going to show you guys that, but I'm going to show you like a Gala Patrol or something like that. So you guys can see this ship a little bit in action. Um, not a lot, I should say, because I'm not going to put like good weapons on this ship. That is like a build. And I've seen a couple of, you know, build videos. Um, totally like, uh, you know, not liked on YouTube because they're the... The people that actually made the build, it works for them, but it doesn't work for everybody. So I'm not going to recommend any build on this ship. Just do whatever, you know, your your ship 
your uh, choices in like gear and weapons and all that so I'm not gonna go through that but I am going to go through the stations because I didn't do that um, we have an ensign universal station so you can basically put everybody there uh, that has like one ability you can have an you have a commander tactical station like a commander station with four abilities really really nice it is uh tactical heavy so you can have like four abilities there we have another ensign but this is a tactical station so you just tactical people over there we have a lieutenant engineering station so two uh two abilities for your lieutenant uh engineering and we have a lieutenant commander science or a pilot station so basically you can put like i don't know like lieutenant commander science or science with science abilities or pilot station that is up to you uh, and we have a normal lieutenant science station so you can put like some kind of science um uh, bridge officer bridge officer there for uh for your science with two abilities really nice um let's say do we have beams we have beams but no i'm just gonna go with this guy what i'm gonna do here is a little bit healing virtual polarity yeah let's go with you um i'm not using mines let's go with you and we want some heals and we're gonna go with you so this is just a layout that i just chose for this ship just like you know some something that i think i might use you know um could be fun you know just 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 to show you guys this ship in action um right now my ship is kind of set <laughs> no it's not but um i'm just gonna show you guys this uh bridge this unique bridge they that they they being cryptic has made for this ship and hopefully it's going to load anytime soon um 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 one percent 1.20 yay 1.30 1.40 usually it takes a lot to go to two and then it's gonna go right again right at 40 and then boom it's gonna load maybe there we go 40 percent and now it's loading because you can see it's patching it's patching 50 60 there we go so a unique bridge just for this ship uh let's bring up the map there it is kind of weird <laughs> this looks like a face <laughs> like the eyes and the it has like I don't know. It has like a beard or something. It's like a ninja. It's just you know, <laughs> just the faces, <laughs> like visible, the eyes. I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is like um, this is weird. Okay, this doesn't look like a unique bridge though. It looks just like the normal Ferengi bridge. Um, anyway, so you can access the library files over here, contact duty officers. We have a view screen that is folding up space somehow. Okay. Did not know Ferengi had this kind of technology. Um, select small craft. Um, okay, okay. And we have a double table. We cannot have... A Ferengi ship without a tabo table right here. Spin the wheel and win. Spin the wheel and win. Oh yeah. Um leave the ship interior because that's the entire ship. Just a little bit of a two room occupied ship. Now I do wanna do one thing. I'm just gonna go back to earth space dock because i think i there was an option to select what kind of bridges you want to select and maybe i didn't select the bridge that i should have but this is that new ability oh we all have fives so let's go with six here and a seven here 
this is going to be really quick. Just getting up there really, really fast and just selecting. Hopefully, we're not going to be uh, doing a lot of loading while we go up. Up at a space dock, Earth space dock. And here we go, here we go. Really, really fast. Let's see. No, not this one, the other guy. Customize. Uh, interior. Yep, we only had the Decora. So that's the old version of this ship. It, it's not the new version. They did not make a new... Uh, hello, birdie. They did not make a new version of this ship. Or the or the, a new version of the bridge. So just they just slapped on the old version and called it a wrap. <laughs> so here we go. T and then go to the Delta Quadrant. I was in the Delta, I was it in the Beta Quadrant. The Azure sector. Azurian sector. Delta. I think it was Delta. Can't remember. Anyway, um, let's see. Hopefully, I won't have to cut this video. I think we are. Eh, we're at the right place. Here we go. The Argala sector. That gives me time to put up all of the buffs that I wanted to have on this ship. So we can be a little bit more tough. Uh, brace for impact. No cannons. Pad of volley. We want that. Charge particle dust. Sure, why not? Um, emergency power to shields. Evasive maneuvers. Feedback pulse. Oh yeah, that's gonna be really nice. No feedback pulse right there. Fleet support. Oh yeah, we want that. Go down fight fighting. We do want that. Hazard emitters. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm just doing this really, really fast. Cause, um, science team. Uh, tactical, tactical initiative. Torpedo high yield, we want that as well. And transfer shield strength, here we go. That's kind of like the basics of this ship. Of this build, I should say. And I really don't recommend using this uh, bridge or like this layout that I just did. I'm just using that to show this ship in action just a little bit and then go off with your own build the way you're wanted to play the game because it's this game is like so diverse you can play a like a million thousand bazillion uh, uh, versions of this game you know uh, you can play it one way or the other way you can play go like full tactical or full engineering or like a hybrid you know, it's go with the version that you want it to be. Now I do um, am gonna go with the attack format, so that's gonna give me 100 to uh, uh, to weapons, 50 to shields, 25 to engines, and 25 to auxiliary. This is the way this my ship has been um, kind of like made. So let me just show you this because I want them to be on auto fire and right away they are attacking me that's not nice of them anyway so time to fire back here we go That was really, really fast. Take, take, take all. Come on, answer hail. Yada, yada, yada. Here we go. A little bit more tougher enemies are right there.
kind of handles handles okay, I should say. Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, it's like a ship. The way I'm feeling it right now, it's something between a escort and a cruiser, or an escort and a science ship. But um, that's the vibe that I'm getting, cause it, cause it's um, it's it's turning really really fast, but not as fast as an escort. It's like slower than that. So I do recommend beams. Um, yeah, I do recommend beams on this ship, and not. Uh, not dual heavy cannons because the turn rate is not that fast as an escort. Where's the other one? Right here. So it's gonna take a lot of time when it's going to turn. But if you put some RCS accelerators on that, you can make it an escort. And I mean, this is just the way I'm feeling this ship at this point. If you equip your ship with like different consoles and you know make it turn faster, you can use you can use two heavy cannons. Why not? It's your ship. Why not use it? Here we go, carrier. And I do want to show you guys this uh, this ability, the metaphasic solar capacitor. But I need to aggro a couple of guys. There we go. I think that's enough aggro because they're draining my shields. Um, all right, here we go. In three, two, one, click. Some nice visualizations there, making the ship look like bluish. Oh, really, really nice. And that uh, tractor beam is just an activatable that buff that I have right here. It's gonna push all of your enemies away. That is not this part, and I'm gonna use this one after two minutes because it is on cooldown right now. In a later stage. And one thing that is really nice to do. Is this rock and roll maneuver? Here we go, rock and roll, baby! Here we go, oh, yeah! <laughs> really, really nice. Kabooey! I'm having fun with this build, with this ship. I should say, not this build, because this build is kind of like sucky right now. <laughs> But I'm having fun. This ship turns quick. Has some decent shields that I just put on, just slapped on this ship. And I'm using the Breen set. That is the last version that I showcased on this video. And it's kind of handling okay. With a build that I just slapped on some like bridge officers. Uh, no consoles at all, just the standard universal console uh, that this ship comes with and it's not bad you know it's not bad at all it is not bad okay here we go I'm gonna go a little bit away from the action to show the visualization of this um, Metaphasic meta solar collection. So, are we far away? We are. Here we go. This is how it looks like. Really, really nice. And that's it. That is it. 
now with all of the consoles and in space with all of the buffs and all of the skills that i have in this build it gives me a plus 26.6 percent exotic damage for 15 seconds obviously uh, it reduces damage to shield by 50% for 15 seconds and plus 29.95% to shield heals for 15 seconds and it says on the last one upon activating passive console bonuses disabled for 80 for 60 seconds so um yeah that's that um this is the iconian space set and this is how it looks like within like a battle and i did not even know that you could do this you could switch out the consoles okay did not know that um yeah it took me a while to get the iconian space set but uh the riser event kind of like helped out uh because i had like um um like um like this things like the assignments that you guys do on Risa, it kind of gives a lot of um like marks that you can choose from whatever reputation you want and that's basically how i got all of the iconian reputation uh reputations going the one that i wanted because i just like you i don't have a lot of time but but anyway that's like a detour um this is it. This is the video of the Ferengi Nandi Worship Tier 6 from the Ryzen Reputation. No, not from the Ryzen, just from the Ryza event, I should say. Uh, the summer event of 2015. So um, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are going to like it on YouTube. And stay tuned for more videos like this. They're coming up because Cryptic has been crazy, crazy building ships like every two weeks. And the ones that I can get my hand on, I'm going to showcase just like this video. So if you want to get like um, updates to when a video is going to come out, hit that subscribe button. And it's really, really awesome. So for now, take care. Talk to you guys on the next one and hope to see you one of those comments on this uh, video on YouTube. So later.